Hi everyone, I am going to show you how to use soapcalc.net. So the first thing you got to do is click on their calculator. And this one is a lot different and most of the calculators are set up completely different. So I want to walk you through this one because if you've never done this, you've never looked at it, it can be a little confusing and overwhelming. So what you're going to do is click over here first if you're going to be using NaOH for, that's the sodium hydroxide, or the KOH is the potassium hydroxide for liquid soap. Okay, so you got bar soap and liquid soap. And the 90% KOH is some of them are... Most of the potassium hydroxides are have that impurity in them. So, and I, th I think brambleberries is set up like that, 90% pure. So the recipe has to be calculated a little bit different because of that. But then you have ounces, grams, whatever you want to use. And then you come over here and pick your percentage of water. So unlike um, with brambleberry lie calculator, theirs is set at 33%. This one you can put in whatever water amount that you want. And I normally soap with cold process at 33% anyway. That's just, the, the soaps have always turned out very well and I know a lot of people will try to, you know, they want to do a water discount to help the bars get harder faster, but and if you're just learning, don't do any water discounts because one, your soap needs um, to cure properly, and two, your soap is going to be uh, it's going to get thick really quickly, and sometimes it can be harder to work with, and your your lye solution is going to be way more concentrated. So don't do any um, water discounts until you've had a lot more experience and you know exactly what you're getting into and then this you can plug in your super fat whatever you want I'll just leave that at five percent now this one is set up to give you these the hardness cleansing condition bubbly creamy iodine it gives you all of this and it will also tell you the breakdown of the fatty acids when you after you plug everything in so We'll do we'll just do plug in a recipe and I'll show you how this one works. So you scroll th down until you find what you're looking for. Now they got sweet almond oil up here. So we'll do that and then make sure this is on percentage over here, so you need to make sure you click ounces if that's what you're working with and then just put four and then we'll go down to cocoa butter and we'll put eight coconut oil twenty two Jojoba oil is at two ounces. Palm oil is at 15. Shea butter. Ten avocado oil is at six ounces, and then we'll go down to olive oil is at forty five ounces. 
All right, so then what you're going to do first is click the Calculate Recipe button. And then you are going to click View or Print Recipe. Now, this can look kind of crazy if you've never looked at this before. So this is going to tell you it's going to break it down for you. So this it's got the pounds here and it's got ounces and it's got the grams so whatever which one you're doing like if you are just gonna go work, work with ounces and just look at this column right here so it's gonna tell you how much water it recommends how much lye the sodium hydroxide and it's gonna give you your oil weight and this is how much fragrance oil it recommends for this batch and you can also go to, to Brambleberry's uh, fragrance calculator and you can put in whatever essential oils and or fragrance oils that you want and it will give you the amount for that as well too because the fragrance oils you don't need to use as much because they're a lot stronger and plus they're synthetic so so then you have your recipe here and then breaks it down there for you and then down here it's gonna have these numbers the hardness the cleansing the conditioning how bubbly the soap's going to be, how creamy, the iodine value, and then it's got the fatty acid profile of the soap. Since olive oil is mostly oleic, it's going to be a high number here, and coconut oil and palm oil, you can see those numbers there for lauric and palmitic and the steric. So, then that's it, and make sure that you print it and put it in your binder because we I don't want you to lose any recipes because how many that you create you do not want to lose them so make sure you have them backed up on a hard copy in a binder so if you have any questions contact me but I think this one is a lot easier for people that are just starting out I know it's it's it seems and it looks more confusing but this actually breaks it down for you so you can kind of see where your numbers are and don't get too upset or freak out if your numbers don't line up with the range here because so many soaps are really good soaps but they kind of don't turn out looking like they're good soaps on the soap calc. So it can be confusing but hopefully this helps break it down for you a little bit. Alright, thanks!